So here's going to be a little tour of the casa. This is coming in from the front door. And as you can see, it goes straight up and out to our patio. This then would be, eventually will be the dining room. There's nothing in it at this moment. They took away the furniture that had moths from the years of just being here. Here's the little kitchen, which people have pretty much seen already because I've had it in other videos. Our little pantry thing. Old fashioned kitchen table. And then we go up a little bit. This would be, this is pretty much, this is the TV room, not much to it. That little window over there actually goes out to what used to be a summer kitchen and it's now like my little space. Let's looking back at the door we came in. And here we are. We will go upstairs and see the two bedrooms. <laughs> It goes, as you can see, there's no hallway, so you have to go through the first bedroom, which is the guest bedroom here, um, to get to the master bedroom. Anyway, so here in the little bed, we call it the little bedroom, although the room is the same size, the bed's smaller. You can take a look out, and it looks out to our patio, which progresses up three different levels. And that over there, that belongs to the house that's next to us which we would like to buy so that we could make it into a garage but above there there's a little place I'll show you it's a little room that belongs to us okay and so that would be a wardrobe there are no closets so we have wardrobes here where we keep our clothing mm -hmm. Pretty standard, kind of like the lion witch in the wardrobe. Okay, hey, and this is the master bedroom. Again, wardrobe, no closet. And we have a little veranda that goes out to the street. This is the street that we live on. And they are putting in a new street. The name of the street is Calle Zapateros. So we'll just head out and I will show you the patio. And my special little room and Alberto's special little space. We also have a bathroom. This was built on after the house. And this is actually a pretty recent addition. So it's complete with flushing toilet and uh, we have a bidet and our little shower. Da da da, nothing. I mean, it's. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so here we come. This is the first level of the patio. Right here is um, what had been a ginormous jasmine plant, and in January, on the new moon, you have to cut them back so that they grow nice and big and. Here's the little window to the bathroom, and then we walk just past here, and here's the original laundry area where they would have done hand washing. And the entrance to my little room, which also has our new-er-ish laundry facility. So here's a little room. There's actually, it's open up above just a little bit, and then again, to get into the room, you step up and so this is where I have um, my paints are stored here for summertime and I do my little laundry business here's the little birdie that we have and now I'll go through the rest of the patio so um, at the second level 
of the patio. We have the area where, oops, these where I would hang. This is my laundry hanging area. This is a Dama de Noche, which is a really, really fragrant night blooming plant. And then this is sort of the catch all for right now. It's a tiny little habitation that um, will be a space for Alberto stuff. We've got the stuff in here for the horses, the saddles, um, but we still have to clean up the stuff from all the repairs that have been done. The storage of our winter blankets and stuff go in those. My other table that I had painted ended up here instead of the other. That'll probably be switched out. No big deal. Um, more stuff of my planting stuff. We just need to get organized basically is what it is. And more things for the galgos and shepherding. No big deal. Mm. The goal is for this little habitation is to redo the ceiling to raise it up a few feet and then add a chimenea to be a little like fireplace. And then here's the third level of our patio. And from here, well, let me just introduce you to this is our orange tree, our baby mandarin tree, and our very prosperous lemon tree, and another jasmine plant with my new bougainvillea. But here you can see there's our house. The little one next to it is the one that we wanted to buy, but there's people living in that, that one, and there. So you can kind of see how we're all built into the hill here. And you can see across to the mountains over there. Uh, mountains over there. People up there have got an orange grove. And then if you look up there, you can kind of see far in the distance up on the mountain is the Thermita of the village. So that's our house.